Hi y'all, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. What are we doing today? Well, yeah, I do. We're gonna talk about top five notions that a beginning knitter when they're ready to jump into more stuff needs to get. These are some notions that when I first started knitting, if I had had them, they would have made my knitting journey just a little bit better at first and maybe made things a little bit faster too. You know, let me tell you my favorite notions. I'm going to link down below my Amazon affiliate links to the same notions or something very compatible to because some of these notions i have no idea where i bought them at i know i bought some of them on wish <laughs> i bought some of them on amazon i may have bought i think i got them all online so that's all i'm gonna say but my amazon affiliate link down below you know how that works i get a small commission if you use my link doesn't add to the price to you. So help a girl out, use my links down below. Let's get into it. Number five. I don't know what these links are called. <laughs> I will by the time I edit this video. These are needle savers. I think that's what they're called. They go on the end. I got a needle somewhere. Huh. Will it fit? Yeah. Go to the end of your needle. You got stuff on either end of your needle, or you need to put your needles away. This will keep things on your needles so they don't accidentally come off. It's awesome. There's other uses, like if you have fancy wooden bamboo needles that you want to carry with you and you don't want the points to get damaged there you go number four darning needles darning needles these these right here are actually wood or wood <laughs> these are actually wool needles but I use them as darning needles Let's see, I got some darning needles. Oh, I forgot about that one. Get out of there. Darning needle. Just to, I mean, these are the little plastic ones. Great. I use this one all the time. The eyes big enough to put your yarn through. Weave in your ends. You need a darning needle for that. Number three, stitch saver. Look at that little puppy. I've got a bunch of these. I actually spent a lot of money on this. Not a lot, but I got a good set of metal ones. This is metal, but you're making a hat with ear flaps. You need to make the ear, flap, ear flaps separately. Take it off your needles and put it on here. There you go. You can save until you're ready to use it. This, these are awesome. Birdie. We're getting close. Number two. What is this little guy? A cable needle. I wish I had cable needles. When I first started knitting, I wanted to jump in and do the fanciest stuff ever at first. And of course, it's very hard to do cables without a cable a cable needle. These are great. You can use a double pointed needle, but cable needles are the best. So, this one's a little plastic one. You don't have to buy fancy, fancy ones. They're heck cute. They're different, they have them in different sizes for different gauges and different, to match your needles. A cable needle. I'm going to make some honorable mentions. Here's a couple. This 
Stitch markers! Stitch markers! I don't know how I ever got along without stitch markers. Because, especially when you start doing fancy stuff, you want to know when to, oh, I only do something here. Need to switch right here. You got stitch markers, you know where to begin and end your fanciness. So, get you some stitch markers. Look at these. You don't have to get fancy with these either. Stitch markers. They just hang on your needle. Cool. Oh. More stitch markers. This one though. This one you can you can put on your row. Maybe it's called a row marker. I don't know, but it looks like a little baby safety pin. Look at it. And you clip it on your you can put it on your oh here. You can take it on and off of your work so you can mark your row. Row markers, is that what it's called? Again, very cheap. I got these in a subscription box I will not mention. Maybe I'll link it up here. But yeah, so I know I need to start counting my rows from there. Wish I had those when I first started knitting. It would have made me go a little faster doing the fancier things than I did. Why are you eating, Birdie? My AC's on because it's hot. It's Texas, and Birdie decides to eat when I decide to start building. So, and the number one notion I wish I had when I first started that helps me out a lot: this little doohickey. <laughs> I don't know what it's called at the time I'm filming because I forgot what it's called. I will link below what it is. I will put on the screen what this thing is. But basically, when you're knitting, I don't even have any yarn in front of me. It holds your, when you're knitting, it holds your yarn for you on your finger. It's got two different sizes. I don't know why. But like, oh, if you're doing like a Norwegian, uh, oh, I don't even know what the thing is called. But you can, if you have two different, two separate uh, colors of yarn that you're working on, you can use it for that too. And hold them at the same time. So you're not trying to, you know. It's awesome. Link down below where to get one of these. These are awesome. Anyways, let me know down below in the comments if there's some notion that you like that you can't do without that I did not put on my list. It's all subject to your own opinion, what you like, what you want to use. But if you haven't tried one of these things, like especially this little guy, if you never tried one of these things, go try it out. Link below. Uh, my affiliate, it's my Amazon affiliate links. I get commission, small commission. Probably, like, if you bought this thing, I'd probably get, like, two cents. So, doesn't add anything to your purchase. But go use my links below. That's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments if you have any notions that you can't do without, that you wish you had sooner, that you enjoy using, helps you along, makes your knitting life easier. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. Give me a thumbs up if you want another part of Notions that I have. Because I have a bunch of little Notions. It's, I love to use them. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a subscribe button down there and down below in the comments. Ring the bell so you get notified when I upload again. Y'all stay safe and healthy. Don't forget to keep washing your hands. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.